Good morning. It is 11 10 a.m. Central on July 1st. Happy July. Just ate breakfast. Now I'm finishing my coffee. And today I want to talk about a very important concept. And that concept is value greater than price equals sale. Let me say that again. Value, which is greater than price, equals sale. You can use that in every walk of life. If you bring more value to a thing or a business or a person, then it costs them to have that value you will get a sale every time. The problem is you have a tendency to bring your price and then trying to work the value in, right? Now, if the value is greater than the price and the price is zero, <laughs> that's a sale every time. Undoubtedly, the only way to guarantee a sale. And what if, here comes that big what if again, and hey, this may not be for you, but what if you were open-minded enough to be able to see the value and realize that that value was way bigger than the cost of learning how to use that value? And what if using that value, you learned that your customer is going to get your product for free until they can no longer stand it, then they have to pay you, <laughs> okay? They're going to pay you. And what if they paid you month after month after month? Now, there are things in your life right now that you pay for every month that you don't have to have. You don't have to have cable, right? You don't. You don't. You don't have to have cable. You don't have to have a magazine subscription when most magazines are online now, right? You don't have to have HBO, Cinemax, Showtime. You don't have to have that stuff. You can get that stuff online for free, basically, right? But here's what you have to have. You have to have food, water, shelter, right? If you live in Arizona, or in this case, Seattle, you have to have air conditioning. So you have to have electricity. So you're going to pay your electric bill every month without fail. But what if your electric bill, your water bill, your gas bill, right? I live in Minnesota. In the dead of winter, you're paying that bill, right? Because you're not going to freeze to death because you don't have enough money. You'll figure it out, right? Right? Cell phone, it's almost a utility. It should be listed as a utility now, but it's not. But everybody has one. Do you have to? No, you don't have to. But you don't function very well without one, do you? Right? So the value of that product is far greater than what you pay for it. Otherwise, you wouldn't pay for it. Everything that you pay for every month without fail, you do that because the value is higher than the cost. And even though you argue and get mad, man, I can't believe this water bill is so high because it's hot outside and you're watering your grass. <laughs> right? So if you want a dead lawn, oh, sure, don't use it. All right? I can't believe this, this electric bill is so high. Well, because it's 90 degrees in Minnesota for eight days. So you got to turn your AC on. If you don't, you're going to suffocate in your own house. Okay? All right? So you're going to pay it. Right? But what if your water bill your cell phone bill especially, your electric bill and your gas bill had a set price. Set price. And then no matter how much you use it, price stays the same. When cell phone companies figured out how to give you unlimited data for one price, it changed the game. So anybody who's not on unlimited, it's just dumb not to be on it. Well, it costs more. Well, yeah, it might cost a little more, but look at your overages. Are you ever in overage? Some people never 
are ever in overage, right? So, but what if your cell phone, your water bill, your electric bill, your gas bill were all one set price? And let's say that set price was 2,500 bucks a month. Or make it better since it's, you know, it's probably way too high, but say $250, $250 a month for all your utilities and your cell phone. And it never goes up regardless of how much you use it, right? No matter how much data comes into your house, you only pay that $250 for all those utilities. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right. Keep your mind open. I want to tell you something. Now, what if you were the companies? What if you were the utility, lights, you know, electricity? What if you were the electric? Well, just say utilities. What if you own the utilities and phone company? And you gave them an offer they couldn't refuse. For $250, you get all this stuff unlimited. Nobody would ever drop out, ever. They'd have to die their way out. Well, that's what I have. It's what I have, guys. And the interesting thing about it is whether you do it or not does not change one nickel of that truth. I'm talking about this because I can't believe you're not. And for that reason, and I've been talking about it so much lately, the company said, we're going to give you a little bit of money for everybody who joins this company and, and starts learning how to do this. Okay. But it's no real money. Over the course of the whole deal, I'm going to make 300 bucks. This is going to take about 90 days to make $300. That, that's no money. I just love talking about it. So they said, well, if you're going to talk about it, we may as well give you a piece of money. But everybody can't do that because it's not a network marketing company. It's not an MLM. Everybody's not an affiliate. Everybody who joins this company and starts this training does not get an affiliate link. This was a gift to me for being who I am as far as being so excited about it. I just got to tell somebody. Right? So get that out of your head. I'm telling you this because you need to be doing this. And I don't care what you're doing and how you're doing in it. I don't care if you're a multi-level marketing genius. And you're making a hundred grand a week. You need to be doing this. Because if you're in MLM, here's what I know by, by factual data, which is an observable truth. You will never take an off day. Because when you get to that elusive 10 grand a month, that means you've got thousands of people in your downline. And you have to put at least two or three people a day into your business on average because for every one person you put in at the top or at the bottom, another hundred to a thousand drop out because they're not making any money. You are. It's a model. I'm not excited about it, but it's a model. You can do it if you like. That's cool. But whatever you're doing, you're working way too hard. What if for you to make that elusive $10,000 a month, it only took four customers? and you make it every month. Once you hit those four customers, you don't ever have to work again, <laughs> ever. Because whoever is paying you that $2,500 a month, four people doing that, they're never gonna stop paying it, ever. Think about that. You've got four clients, they're paying you $2,500 a month and they will never stop no matter what. Why, how can I say that? Because the value is here and the cost is here. And every month that value keeps going up and that cost stays the same. So let me ask you a question. If I sold you a product that cost you $2,500 a month and you got 100 things from me the first month, how much are you paying per thing? 25 bucks, right. Now, let's go another step. What if the next month I'm selling you 200 things, but the 2,500 stay the same? How much are they costing you per at that point? Let's go another step. 
what if in two or three months, four or five months, you're getting a thousand things and the cost is still 2,500. How much are they costing you per? Are you gonna quit? Cause it keeps going up. Are you gonna quit? Cause you need these things. <laughs> you need them. They're the lifeblood of your business, but it still costs the same. It's a set cost and an exponential value. That's why when you get four customers, you will have them for life and you can literally stop working if you wanna make 120 grand a year and stay right there. But what if once you got one of, let's say you started with four. I love this example. Let's say you started with four, right? You got me? Okay. You monetize the first one, 2,500 bucks a month. What do you do? Wait for the second one? No, you start a new one right here, right? So in other words, you started with four, you got paid on one of them every month. So what do you do? You add the fifth one. You got paid on that one, what do you do? You start a sixth one. You get paid on this one, what do you do? You start a seventh one. Paid on this one, what do you do? You start that one. Paid on this one, what do you do? You start this one, right? Paid on this one, you start this one. And it takes a month to get to the point where you get paid on it. You could literally have 10 centers, if you will, 10 business centers paying you $2,500 a month, every month forever. And the most work you do is the process of getting that business center started and up and running and getting to the point where it's ready to be monetized. And then the company takes over from there. 10 business centers, 10 social assets, vending machines, if you will, 10 times 2,500 is $25,000 a month. A month. <laughs> you do the math from there. If your mind is open, and again, this may not be for you. But if your mind is open to that concept, click below. If your mind is open to that concept, click below. Watch the webinar that I watched and set me on this path. Get started today. This is the biggest, most ingenious business opportunity on earth today, bar none. I've seen them all. So with that said, enjoy the rest of your day. Watch the video when you click on that link. And I will talk to you soon, or I will see you in our private Facebook group where we talk about how huge this is and everybody congratulating each other on their successes. Don't wait. Don't let your ego get in the way, network marketer. Don't let your ego get in the way, MLM. -er. Don't let your ego get in the way, six and seven figure earner. Don't let your ego get in the way. On that note, to your day. Be and be profitable. And as always, in parting, peace.